They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. They're lining up for the lead, McCartney, Drogarati, Another Day in Africa, Perfect Trust. Mallorca Palace is about two or three lengths off them, then the grey brass bell. And then we drop back on the inside to Purple Powerhouse, Barbati's at the back of the field. And it's Another Day in Africa leading it, McCartney's back in second, Drogarati's at the rail. Quizmaster's fourth, then Perfect Trust, followed by Pake Mali, and then comes Brass Bell. Further back in the run, Mallorca Palace got about six to go, then comes Bobati, and at the back is Purple Powers. Top of the lane, another day in Africa, McCartney, Drogarati's on the inside, Quizmaster the outside. Mallorca Palace is going to go in and then Perfect Trust. Coming out of the 300 metre marker, another day in Africa, Quizmaster. Pucky Marley down on the inside, Mallorca Palace and Purple Powerhouse also running on. They're coming from everywhere. Pucky Marley on the outside, McCartney, Purple Powerhouse, Brass Bell, but it's Pucky Marley and Pucky Marley has won it. McCartney second, close for third, maybe Purple Powerhouse involved in that is Brass Bell. So the winner is number seven, Paka Imali. And this is Gary Rich, The Var, Hollywood Syndicate nominee, Anthony Del Pesh, Clifton Stud, and Richard Faree, number seven, ends up at 470, wins a length and a quarter. Second, number five, McCartney. Third is Purple Powerhouse, number eight, I would say, from Quizmaster and Brass Bell, Drogarati. And as we look at this, you'll see the winner, is on the extreme right hand side Paki Mali comes good to record its third win from 23 outings and Paki Mali comes on really nicely and ends up winning at McCartney runs into second position that's number five it pays 390 a place and Purple Powerhouse number eight will pay 380 a place as well the toad favorite was number four another day in Africa that's all for the time being this is Craig Peters signing off